Good morning, my name is Sienna, and today I'm gonna to be taking you along with me on a day in my life as a first year medical student. I'll see you at OMM Lab. Okay, so I just got home and I don't know who else does this. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but I completely forgot about my mask. <laughs> anyway, I ran some errands, got some coffee, and now I'm gonna go study. I have a few hours until our next class starts at one o'clock, um, so I'm gonna try and get some stuff done in the meantime. So I just had lunch and now I am getting ready to start lecture. We have neurology and physiology today. So I'll watch this today. And after that, I have a few other lectures to review, some flashcards to make and prep for physical exam skills lab tomorrow. This is my roommate's cat, Stevie helps me to relieve stress. He'll just come and sit with me or cuddle while we're studying together, huh? I don't know. I've definitely hit a wall. Um, I've been working on a couple of lectures after class and I don't know, my brain's just chugging along slowly. But I'm gonna keep trying and probably get some dinner here soon and then ideally, like I said, make it to working on flashcards. So it is about my bedtime, so I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. As you can see, med school is hard and it's a lot of studying and I never get as much stuff done as I'd like to. But I am lucky to have a great support system and I love hanging out with my roommates and having occasional movie nights. And of course, I love this guy. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed following me on my day today, and I hope you have a great National Osteopathic Medicine Week. Bye! Good morning, everyone. It's about uh, 6.15. Anyways, about to head out for a morning run before I start my day. It's a bit chilly, so uh, gotta bundle up. Before I do anything else, time for the most important part of the day. Pro tip, add some cinnamon. Shout out to Underserved Medicine Club for this awesome mug. While I'm waiting for the water bowl, might as well hang out with Pig. Bernie, come here. Come on, do you want some Cheerios? All right, now that my coffee is ready to go, it's time to sit down and study for the day. Sit. Good girl. Jump. Jump. Come on. Good girl. Here we are at the library. Here's Brittany getting some nice studying done before lab. Coffee in hand. Another shout out to Soma for this mug. Apparently all of my mugs are from Midwestern organizations. Was, Here we like, are in the SPC like, yeah. lab. Today we're doing yeah, neonatal. Yeah. Having lots of fun. There's Tom. There's Sunny with the baby. Getting home from school. Best part of my day right here is seeing little Burn when I get home. Hello! Okay, so I'm just wrapping up for the day, watching lectures comfortably on my couch after sitting in the desk all day, and uh, I got my little friend here watching with me, so not much to complain about. Okay, with that, it is time to wrap up a nice long day, and I think we can all pretty much agree that the only really interesting th thing about my day is uh, my pig. So with that, Bernie, go home, go home. Good girl. All right, thanks for following me today. Good night. Hey everybody, my name is Cassie. I'm a third year medical student. I am currently on my family medicine rotation, which is actually the specialty that I want to go into. So I'm excited to share with you what my days look like. Every morning starts with the cuddle session. 
This is Donna. She's my little beagle. Compression socks are definitely a must. The hardest part of literally every day. And so begins the mask wearing for the day. Stay safe, guys. Today, I'm here at eight o'clock. The first patient ended up being a virtual visit, so my preceptor is doing that in her office. Our first patient will end up being an 8.30 appointment, and basically on every half hour, we have somebody scheduled until 4 p.m. Um, in this rotation, I get to do a lot of hands-on work. I get to, you know, oscillate every patient and talk with them, and I get to write their notes. So I really enjoy this rotation, and there's a lot of autonomy and um, I've got a really good team of people that I get to work with. Um, some really great nurses, MAs, and Dr. Matar, my preceptor, she's awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm really thankful and I get to do this one for about eight weeks. So, yay feel the medicine. We usually get about half an hour to do lunch, but it's also a lot of just catching up on notes and doing a lot of other things. And so I typically eat my lunch at my workstation. It smells amazing, so. That's what we're up to right now. A patient I just saw had chronic low back pain and although I work with an MD doctor, I have the freedom to talk about OMT while I'm on my rotation, which is pretty cool. And so I'm gonna refer to him some of this constant rest position. Don't be afraid to be proud of being a DO and using your skills um, to help your patients, even as a medical student. Made it to the end of the workday, so I'm gonna be heading out and um, oh. This is what I call cooking on a Friday night. Food and movie. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Tonight's a slumber party. Um, so thank you so much for being here. Reach out if you need anything. I wish you all the best of luck. And um, definitely consider osteopathic medicine as a career. Thanks. Hi, I'm Depavo Banerjee, and this is the life of a CCO in fourth year on a virtual rotation. So normally I would use this time to compulsively check my email in ERA's app, but now that we're post-match, let's start with a balanced breakfast. Not sure if I should go outside today. Hmm. A, D, C and dismal. I'll probably remember that. Wait, what's that? Let's see what's gonna be on the docket today. Looks like it's gonna be an outside day. And now we're here at a place that I've not gone to in many moons, the gymnasium. Due to the pandemic and virtual rotations and virtual interviews, it's been a really long time since I've been to the gym. I even forgot what it looks like. So I got my non week shirt on, ready to work out. After this year, it's important to make your, sure your muscles work properly. So today I'm back at Midwestern for what's hopefully my last OSCE, hopefully. Uh, today I'll be doing both a transition to care OSCE and a procedure OSCE. So what this involves is receiving and giving a handoff between care teams in a hospital. I'll um, also be doing a couple of procedures on um, simulated patients. Uh, just to get a sense of uh, what intern here would be like. So uh, hopefully this goes well. So it's definitely weird coming back to campus. It's a lot more deserted. Um, usually these last two years you don't come to campus, especially with the pandemic, with didactics being at home. I'm still getting the same uh, weird feeling walking up to the testing center in the sim lab. So <laughs> that never really goes away. I just finished up at the sim center with my OSCE. Pretty sure I failed at least one of the sections. Uh, we'll see, this is super common. Don't worry, we're in the learning phase. At least that's what I'm telling myself. So from one uniform to another, nothing like the OSCE to make you feel like a failure in these robes to make you feel good, right? So I just finished up with my graduation pictures. Uh, felt really surreal, especially this could be the last time that I set foot on campus, um, you know, in case we have virtual graduation or whatever like that. Um, it's been a real trip. It's been a journey, you know, starting at first year, going through anatomy, doing micro and boards, both level one and two. So it's been a journey. I've worked hard. 
Uh, sometimes you feel like you have a lot of obstacles and you're not the best, you don't do well, but you know, by fourth year, it's kind of the promised land. You feel good about yourself going through interviews and now to the match, um, looking forward and just feeling a little bit more self-confident, but you know, realizing you, you have a long way to go. Um, so it's like the great thinker L'Oreal said, you're worth it too. And with that, I'm signing off.